there are various colors of people. There are, there are various styles and various different types of people and personalities. And did you know they all need Jesus? You wonder if I told you God made them all. Yes. Now, in one sense, in one real sense, we need to recognize something. That every person that takes the breath of life <coughs> is one of God's children. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now, some of us, we've gotten so religious, we figure that only us, those of us who are in the house of God are God's children. That's not true. And some of us may be in the house of God that still doesn't make you one of his children. You're just passing by. Yes. I, I don't have time to go there, but um, we will. My point is, somebody needs a little ray of sunshine. Yeah. And that sun I'm talking about is not S-U-N. Yeah. It's S-O-N. And if you've got even just a little ray of sunshine in your life, it's not for you alone. If God gave you something, how I many you know he gave his son? Mm -hmm. But did you know he didn't give his son for you, per se? Oh, he did, but he didn't. He gave his son for you to redeem you for himself. Yeah, amen. Yes. And others. And what needs to happen now is that we need to share what we've been given. That's absolutely right. With all of God's children. All of God. Enjoy God's creation. Mm -hmm. And I am so glad. That the Lord saved me. So I say amen. 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 Now I'm so glad I saved you too. And I can say amen again. Amen. <laughs> Brother Ed, would you pray? Right. Lord, thank you for this day of grace you've given us. Thank you for your hand ever upon us. Thank you for leading your guidance and your direction our paths. Thank you for getting our paths right with you. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for grace you today. And we pick up this offering that it can use to further your kingdom. We give you praise, honor, and glory for this day, Lord. Bless the man that. Gives the word, bless our ears to hear the word, and let us go out with the word. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 So if you would, open your Bibles to 1 Thessalonians, because that's where we're going to be this morning. I'll give you a chance to get there. 1 Thessalonians. And I'm going to start out this morning in, in chapter 5. In chapter 5. And today, I... Uh, I was telling our sister this morning, I said, I, I hope I can do this message justice. I mean, it's something, first off, every message that God gives us is something that we need to listen to. You know, we understand that sometimes that correction doesn't come easy. We also understand that sin is, it seems good for a season. We know, most of us know this, but in the end, it doesn't, it, it, it leads to, to death. Some people say, well, you know, I did it, it didn't kill me. Well, you're still living in being deceived like Eve was in the garden. She did eat of the fruit, didn't she die right then? Not that she could sense. But can I tell you that death was on the way? But it's interesting if you, if you see this, because can I tell you, if we look at that and we look at a timeline that God gave us, she didn't die right then, and there was still an opportunity for, re for reconciliation but like Adam and Eve, they didn't choose to be reconciled to God as he would have them to be reconciled. They chose to cover themselves. They chose to make excuses. They chose to play the blame game. And as I speak that this morning, I'm realizing that I have played that game as well. There are many people today who attend our churches. They can speak the words. But in fact, the scripture talks about sometimes some of these people in their whitewashed sepulchers. On the outside, they looked clean, proper. But on the inside, they're dead. And Jesus said that he came to bring life and to give it to us more abundantly. And that life comes from the inside. Now I can, I can cite several different stories and scriptures in the Bible where it talks about, you know, you cleaned yourself up from the inside, but you didn't fill it with the goodness of God. We didn't fill it with, with the word of God. We didn't fill it with the presence of God. And, and what happens is that when, the, when those demons come back, they come back seven times worse. I want to encourage you this morning after you hear this word, first off, stand corrected yourself. Second, be willing to rise up 